Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to talk about these Speed Queen machines, and I'm not going to bore you with all the details about, you know, how to run it and cycles and all that stuff. I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. I went from a um, top load LG, top of the line, mega capacity uh, washing machine to this Speed Queen. Uh, and I can tell you right now, just in the beginning of the video, if you're on the fence about purchasing these things, I would absolutely 100% recommend doing it. And no, this video is not sponsored by Speed Queen. I wish it was. <laughs> so Speed Queen, if you're listening, uh, go ahead and give me a sponsorship. Um, this is just an honest to goodness review. Probably one of the most real and raw reviews I'm going to do on this channel. Uh, I've been wanting to do this review for a while, but I purchased these on October 13th. Uh, 2020. Uh, so I've had these for about four months and I wanted to really use them and give you my honest opinion and tell you about some of the things that I really like about it. So one of the best features of this machine is the fact that it will fully fill the tub with water. And I'm sure as you're researching these things, you've, you've figured that out. Uh, right now it's on a soak cycle. And the cool thing about the soak cycle, especially if you're getting real dirty and sweaty and nasty and stinky and you really want to get clothes clean you can set the soak cycle for as many hours as you want so right now I have this on a two hour soak and it's telling me there's about 59 minutes left on the soak um, if I go ahead and pause this these new models this is a Speed Queen TR7 they do have a lid lock and that lid lock light will go out when it's safe to open up but you can see I have a full load of clothes in here and the fill is all the way to the top. So these things are soaking in hot, hot water. I have my water heater turned up to the max, uh, 145 degrees, I think. And these, this is just hot water, um, two hours soak on those, and it fills all the way to the top. Probably the best feature about this machine, aside from the fact that it actually washes clothes. So the old LG top loader we had uh, simply didn't get the clothes clean. It would... I've watched clothes in that machine and the same pair of, of pants, for example, would just sit on the top of the machine and just kind of whirl around real slow. This will actually, you can actually notice that there's different clothes every time you open the lid up because it's actually agitating gently. Um, the classic models are a little bit more rough with that transmission drive, but I see no reason to go to a classic after getting this TR7. It actually really rotates the clothes around, really wrings the clothes nicely without stretching them out, gets all that dirt and grime out of there, away from the clothes, and then nice clean clothes. So for detergent, we use the Myers Clean Day stuff. Um, that's the powder detergent there. And then we use the Oxygen Brighter stuff by Myers Clean Day. That's all I use in here. And the clothes are clean. You don't have to use any fragrances. It's just, it's the real deal, honestly. Like it is, uh, it's been probably eight years of going from one machine to the next machine, trying to get something that would actually get things clean. Uh, we have five dogs. You got dog dander. You're playing with them. You got dog hair. That smell just would never get out of my clothes when I was using the cheap run-of-the-mill stuff that you can get at your big box stores. This Speed Queen does it. Now, if you're worried about capacity, I can fit a full king size comforter in here. No problem. There's a video on my channel showing it. You can wash a king size comforter. You can wash a, a normal load of towels. You can wash a big load of clothes. It the the drum is I think a three and a half, uh, but it's you can fit stuff in here. I mean, I, I that was one of my biggest things. I'm like, man, we're not gonna have the capacity. You know, we're going down in size, but. What you lose in size, the machine is engineered to actually wash the clothes. And this and these things are running nonstop. We have these running all day long. We're always washing sheets and dog towels and our clothes and the baby's clothes. This thing's going all the time. So the fact that it's heavy duty, it definitely stands out. It's a heavy machine. Uh, when I installed it into this room, I remodeled this room recently. It's going to be about two to three times the weight of your existing big box store LG or a Samsung or anything else. It's all steel. <laughs> There's no like cheap plastic on it. It is just, it's built like a tank. And even the stainless steel has like, it just feels more solid and durable. So I can't say enough good things about this thing. And I want to really use it and put it through its paces instead of just getting it home, unboxing it, and then doing a cheap video for views, you know, trying to get that. I actually wanted to use it and say, okay, if it's good, I'm going to say it's good. If it sucks, I'm going to say that it sucks. And it actually really works. 
So the other thing that you can do too, I like to get the tub all the way full. I just set the load size to large. It'll sense um, what's in here and then fill it all the way up. You can also do it on autofill. It does a really good job too of, of getting the clothes you know, submerged in water. That's the biggest thing with these things. It's, it's, you know, it does have a high efficiency setting on here somewhere. Um, I never use it because I feel like if you're going to wash clothes, it, it needs to wash in a full tub of water. And then you can also do the extra rinse, which I use all the time. You can see that's enabled. And then a pre-wash sometimes if I'm really sweaty and gross, like pre-wash them, extra rinse, one hour soak. I don't care how stinky and sweaty you get during the day, during your work week, this will get your clothes smelling fresh without having to use any fragrances. So that's my honest raw review of the Speed Queen TR7. Um, a lot of people say, oh, get the classic wash. That's a better wash. Honestly, um, I was going to go that direction just because I wanted to go full old school. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, the warranty is much longer. It's a seven-year warranty on this thing, and it's 100% built in the USA. So seven-year warranty on the TR7 versus a, I think it's a three or a five-year on the classic wash. Plus a lot of people say that they get the stretched out collars on the classic wash. They figured it out. I think the engineers at Speed Queen figured out a perfect recipe for an awesome machine. Uh, getting over to the dryer, it's a commercial dryer. It works exceptionally well. My only uh, gripe with the dryer is that there's a dryness setting on here where if you set this dryness setting to dry and you got some really, really uh, bulky towels or you have a bunch of sheets and they get kind of, they don't, they don't get it half as binded up as the LG that I had, but if they do get twisted up and binded up, you're going to need to go back in, probably set it for a time dry 20 minutes or whatever and get them, get them finished off. The two main settings I use on this thing is just, um, delicate time dry, usually a 60, 60 minute dry. We'll get most of my stuff dry, uh, or the auto auto dry where you can go just set it here. That's it. There's no bells and whistles on any of these things. It's just, I mean, how many bells and whistles do you need? You need something that's delicate. It's going to wash stuff that's delicate like baby clothes. It's not going to mess them up. You got, you want something that's in the middle of the road. You just want to get something quick and clean. It's got that. You got something that's really soiled. Bam. You got that. How many other settings do you need? Come on. You get in here. Okay, I got a fresh set of, uh, <laughs> of clothes here. Uh, lint traps right here. It's fixed. So I just usually come in, scrape it with my fingers, clean this out once a week. No problems at all. It's a big, big, big volume drum. All commercial. You can just feel it. Like, you know when something feels real chintzy and cheesy, like all the big box store stuff does. This thing is solid. Even this door. Like, it's just, you can feel it's solid all the way through. The hinges are solid. All the lines line up. They don't shake around and bang around. They're heavy. They're the real deal. So, uh, that's my review of the Speed Queen TR7 and the matching dryer. If you are remotely considering Speed Queen or stepping up to a $1,200 commercial machine, don't hesitate. Right now, after you get off the <laughs> off the video, I'll throw a link to Speed Queen's website or something down there. You can click on them and and buy it. And you know, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Like I said, it's just it's worth it. So thanks for watching, guys. If this helped you make a decision, uh, if you purchased one, if you have problems with yours, anything, I don't care. Let's open up the discussion in the comment section below. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get you in the next video. Later.